Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see the new streamlined portal for Intune and device management right so this is Microsoft 365 device management I don't know why it says clone of dashboard right <laughs> it should say dashboard right probably something Microsoft should fix as soon as possible okay that's fine so recently my young Jane from Microsoft posted about this in tech community that they have streamlined the navigation experience or simplified navigation experience of device management portal right Microsoft 365 device management home page with lot of new stuff right so let's go through it in this video I would prefer device management portal for Intune and other device management topics basically right first of all I don't like clone of dashboard this one I don't know uh, what is that probably they will change that soon okay so apart from that the dashboard looks it's very useful uh, from a from my perspective dashboard is very useful right you can get the overview from this dashboard something like device enrollment is okay device complaints is not okay I have three devices that has issues device configuration I have some device configuration errors in my tenant or in tune configuration right client apps some failures are there uh, this is very useful from a day-to-day -day operational perspective right and it will give you uh, the details of enrolled devices like I have Windows 20 devices complaint status is 3 non complaints is 3 and total is 20 and device configuration profile status right user weak trend okay that's interesting device weak trend that's that's very interesting stuff right if you want I can edit the dashboard okay by clicking on this done customization okay so if I can edit it and say not clone okay so it became dashboard that makes sense right so Microsoft is giving us an option to edit and make it my dashboard right I can say Anoop's dashboard right that's interesting <laughs> okay that's interesting <laughs> okay cool and I can clone the dashboard if I want that's also interesting stuff wow oh this is super super efficient I would say okay cool I can personalize my each each admin can personalize their own dashboards right so that's pretty interesting okay cool so first is home if I click on home on the left hand side navigation you will see what is my default directory and tenant details right and it's healthy and all the details like right? so that's pretty nice what is new and all the all the details are available here in the home button right when you click on home button and navigate through the home page so dashboard is as as we already mentioned right all services all services right in that you can see devices desktop analytic services there that's pretty nice stuff tenant administration troubleshooting groups users apps oh everything is there it's interesting that we can see m365 active directory azure active directory and if i click on that it will open up a azure active directory portal ad.portal.azure.com that's that's very interesting right okay so there are a lot of customized portals available but maybe because they have different organizations within microsoft right one is Microsoft 365 organization and other one is Azure organization so they have different portals for those uh, for for those organizations and for them it probably it's easy to manage uh, this portal or manage or update this portal from a Microsoft 365 organization point of view I don't know like I'm just assuming 
yeah <laughs> okay anyways so that's that's really interesting right and uh, my favorites are already kind of selected De default favorites are devices apps users groups and tenant administration tenant administration is the is the piece kind of one time activity kind of stuff right you need to configure it one time and uh, you can forget it afterwards you don't need to worry about that so that kind of configuration is available okay that's it for this video thank you for watching if you like the video please click on like button if you don't like the video please click on dislike button or thumbs down button until next time bye bye